Billy McFarland is back. One year after being released from prison, the Fire Festival organizer takes to Twitter on April 9th, writing, Fire Festival 2 is finally happening. Tell me why you should be invited. He then follows up on April 12th with, First things first, gotta pay people back in promotion of an upcoming fundraiser before concluding all proceeds to those owed. In April 2017, McFarland and rapper Ja Rule co-organized the failed Fire Festival, billed as a luxurious music event in the Bahamas and promoted by several celebrities, including Kendall Jenner and Bella Hadid. But attendees called the botch festival a disaster, citing mass chaos, robberies, and fights over food at the, quote, refugee campsite. Three months later, McFarlane was arrested and charged for what prosecutors said was an alleged connection with a scheme to defraud investors and a related entity responsible for organizing a music festival. In March 2018, he pled guilty to two counts of wire fraud and was sentenced to six years in prison. Additionally, he was ordered to pay investors, vendors, and concertgoers $26 million in restitution. After serving four years, McFarlane was released into a halfway house in the New York City area on May 19, 2022. Fast forward to November, and the 31-year-old issued a public apology while on Good Morning America. I need to apologize, and that is the first and last thing that needs to be done is I let people down. How do you expect people to trust you? Time and just doing little things on a weekly basis and just slowly building. During his first interview since being released from prison, McFarlane admitted he was driven by, quote, a desperate desire to prove people right. I went way too fast before, so I need to do everything now in a manageable way that I can actually make work. So are you truly a changed man or is this just a spin? I hope I continue to change for the next 40 years. Ja Rule was never charged in connection with Fire Festival and was later dismissed as a defendant in a civil complaint.